Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, today I wanted to show you a little bit the advancement on uh, tool settings. Uh, we are currently working with Abdullah to merge uh, this feature into uh, into the master. And there is one like um, UI decision to be made. So I wanted to present you the ID. And then I will ask you to participate on the poll to say if you think it's a good ID or if it's not a good ID. So basically the ID of tool settings is that when you select a tool rectangle here, for example, you get, uh, as you can see, um, a list of parameters that you can enter. So let's say you want uh, maybe 30, 20, 30. You see the first point is then chosen and then you can choose a length, let's say 200. And you see every time you enter a parameter, then you can, um, it, it get blocked. So let's say 100. And when you create this way, you see you have constraints which are created so you have a fully constrained geometry directly so that's basically the principle of uh, tool settings and it works for the all kind of uh, geometries and so the um, the question that we have today is that this enables us to uh, merge some tools together so for example for the arc tool you see uh, let me show you first the uh, original FreeCAD how it's made so you see the original FreeCAD, you have one tool for arc by center and you have a second tool which is arc by rim points. And those two tools are separated and you have to select them manually or you can use the shortcuts. Uh, the shortcut for um, arc is GC and the shortcut for arc by three rim points is GC and then three. And you should get, yeah. Uh, no, you don't. Well, I think that's something like that. I don't really know whether the shortcut for three rim point. But anyway, so you have the tools are very separated. So and uh, what we are offering here is that you actually have only one tool. And in tool settings, you have the mod. And there you can select if you want three rim points or if you want center. So you might argue that it's annoying because you have to come here and click, but actually you can use the M key, which lets you change between the mods. So it's actually very fast. If you want three point arc or three point circle, you just press G and C, it opens the circle, and then you press M and it changes the, the mod. And what is nice is that it's the same between all the tools. So with this tool, you with M you change the mod, with this tool you change the mod with M and so on and so on. So I think it's pretty interesting as a possibility. And you see when you press M you change the mod and you don't have the same uh, parameters that you can use. So yeah, that's about it for... Uh, so, so that's the main, uh, the main UI question. You see here, I actually changed uh, some things, things. You see there is only one tool arc of circles while there were two before. And, and then I also removed the arc of conic, uh, this drop down in which you have ellipse by center, ellipse by rim points, arc of ellipse and so on. So the idea is that now you only have arc of circle and then arc of ellipse, hyperbola, parabola in the arc uh, drop down. And in the circle drop down, you have circle and ellipse. And for all of those, you have the possibility to change the mode between center and the three rim points by choosing here or pressing M. So also the ellipse has been improved. You see now you can uh, the major radius and minor radius can alternate, but that's, yeah, that's not very important. So the main point is, uh, do you think it's a good idea to merge uh, the tools um, into one tool and to get rid of the, of this, uh, of this drop down? Uh, and the goal behind that is to simplify the UI, to have something like cleaner and less buttons and so on. Um, so there's um, for the, the arc, arc of circle, there is for circle and ellipse. So these three tools have been merged into uh, 
three tools sorry yeah I, I hope you got what I mean meant and then for the rectangle as well you have rectangle by uh, diagonal which is a normal rectangle and then you have rectangle by center and uh, and corner which is uh, the the center rectangle and on top of that you also have the round corner which has been integrated into the same tool so which means that you can have like the round corner which is applied not only for the diagonal but also for center and corner and you see uh, it lets you create uh, round corner um, rectangles and on top of that you also have a new feature which is frame which actually lets you make um, a kind of a frame let me show you it will be faster you first select you first create the first one and then you can you see you can create a second rectangle which will create a kind of uh, of tube um, so yeah that's also this new feature and yeah so the idea behind is that you see all those uh, functions are now integrated into uh, into one rectangle tool and with uh, M key you can change between the different mode round corners frame round corners and frame and then go back to diagonal and so on so this is um, this is the general ID and also yeah one last thing is that the polygon uh, drop down here you see uh, this is the original uh, FreeCAD you have one drop down with four polygon and you have triangle square and so on octagon and regular polygon where you input the number of sides that you want so these are a bit redundant and it adds a lot of uh, complexity not a lot but just a little bit of complexity to the ui and so on so the idea was that instead of having all those tools you only have one uh, which is under rectangle and this uh, defaults at hexagon so you have at the beginning you have six sides and then you can add more sides if you want and yeah and so basically the idea is that the rectangle uh, drop down here it becomes now like a, a geometry a dro drop down like um, um, assembled geometries let's say so I was thinking that maybe rectangle and polygon could be here but also slot and arc slot could be also in this uh, in this drop down as well and uh, one last thing that uh, all I also modified is the uh, the I combined a uh, trim extend and split into one drop down and uh, insert geometry is a new uh, is a new feature so it wasn't there before but yeah the idea is just to put those three here together as they are very thematic together right so that's about it please let us know uh, in the in the form if you think that it's a good idea i will walk you through how how simple it is to uh, to actually uh, use the form uh, let me just uh, where is it I will just show you the um, how how simple it is to to actually participate to, to the so let me see I will take the link include uh, give me that URL so basically under the video uh, under the video description you will find uh, the URL for the form and there you can very simple you just select do you think it's a do you think those tools should be merged as explained yes no uh, don't care let's say don't care you click send and that's it you have given your uh, your opinion so please really consider taking those three clicks to let us know what uh, what you want for the future of FreeCAD because yeah most of the time on the forum, the the polls they don't get so many uh, so many participation, maybe fifty, maybe hundred in the best cases, but that's still not so much. So please take the time to uh, to fill the poll. And other than that, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a good nice day. Bye bye.